and thank you for joining me today. Welcome to this short video in a series of informational-based films produced to especially help you get to grips with advertising and marketing in the digital age. My name is Abir al -Hiru. I'm Digital Director in Traffic. Traffic is a full-service digital marketing consultancy with close to 100 full-time staff based in our four offices across the GCC region. The company provides integrated and professional online business solutions designed to help clients grow through innovation and creativity, whether driven through web, social, content, mobile, search, or advertising channels. Today we're going to be discussing A-B testing and what you need to know. A powerful website relies on many different aspects, one of which is the interface design. If a website has a professional but likable design, more and more people will spend time on your site and return later. To find a design that will work best with your site, some developers like utilizing a process called A-B testing. A-B testing, which is also called split testing, is performed by comparing two different versions of a website. With regards to design, this means that some elements of the website are different between the two. Typically, a web developer makes both designs available to the users and then compares which of the two will be preferred by visitors. You basically send your users to one of the two websites via a random system. Afterwards, you will use a parameter of your choosing to measure which of the two versions are working better. Some people may count success in how many people choose to sign up or the amount of sales that a certain version receives. There are certain things to remember with A-B testing. It is still a form of experiment, which means that you have to follow the usual rules in conducting one. For example, you should be able to collect enough data before you conclude your results. Follow the guidelines for statistical confidence to make sure that your results are enough to create a conclusion. And always have both versions of your design tested at the same time, since the results may be different from one day to the next. Also, don't assume that your instincts are always correct. Always wait for the results before you start developing the conclusion that one version is better than the next. Many times, you will find that your users will respond better to the one that you liked less. Do many A-B tests as you would like. This way, you will have a greater chance of getting an accurate and preferable design for your site. Consider these elements for split testing. Certain elements have been tested repeatedly and successfully on previous websites. For these elements, a specific choice had ended up as a more preferable option to place on your website. Try editing these things out before your two versions to find out which fare better. Number one, the photos on your website. Past research shows that placing photos of people on your website will greatly improve your statistics. Apparently, people prefer seeing other people on websites. Number two, asking for less. It was also found helpful to make sure that you minimize the things you will be asking from your customers. For example, a sign-up form would be better if it only asked for a name and an email address. These are just some of the basic things you need to know about A-B testing. Make sure to do additional research to make sure your A-B testing comes out fine and effective. If you would like more information on how to improve your business online through A-B testing, technical development, creating effective online campaigns, or building a digital strategy, then don't hesitate to contact us today at www.wewanttraffic.com.